Hey, I'm Scotty and thanks for joining for this sketching tutorial where I'm going to show you how to sketch this portrait right here. I'm going to be doing it a bit bigger and I'll be using a construction method to set this up for some really nice loose ink line work. Then at the end we'll be doing a really light wash on top. So when we're drawing portraits we know that it can be broken down into some simple shapes. So there's a sphere which is the back of the head here and if we go down a bit we have this sort of upside down egg which forms the head. Then we want to break it into three sections here. So we have the hairline, the brow, the bottom of the nose and the chin. So at first we ignore the eyes and the lips. So what I thought we'd do with this tutorial is try something I haven't done before with a portrait is add a bit of construction with pencil. All we're going to do is just at the top of the page, just about here, let's just draw a circle. So that's about the size of a tennis ball. And then we put the pencil away. Okay, so now we've got our ink pen. So the first step is to draw a circle like this. Now we add the, now we plan out the structure. So we've got the hairline up here, which is we'll put a dot up there. And then we've got the chin down here. We can imagine that upside down egg shape here. And then let's divide between the hairline and the chin into three. So we have, so it's at a bit of an angle and about a third of the way down, we can put two dots for the gap between the eyebrows there. And then another third down, Let's put two dots for the width of the nose. Instead of doing silhouette big shapes with this kind of sketching, I'm gonna start with the details here because we have a bit of a structure already. I'd love you to tell me in the comments if this technique has helped you. Now I've got that structure, we've got the four dots in the middle there. Let's draw the eyebrow here. And we're drawing things nice and loose. Just like that. And then the other eyebrow comes out like this. And these little sections, we're going to be using one line, one line segments. So each little feature, will, we'll try and keep a continuous line as much as we can. Okay, so we we'll start at the end of the nose here. We can see it's looking at the eyebrow. And we can see the nose is here. So we're just doing the side, the left-hand side. And then to the other side, we're going underneath the nose like this. And then up. There's a little highlight on the end of the nose there. Go up like this. Um, now there's that, the glasses there, maybe we can add that in later. Now we can add in the, the eyes. So we're starting right in the middle here and we're adding a bit more detail than uh, we usually do because in the past I've drawn very simple faces because we're drawing them very small. But this is quite a large portrait. So what I'm testing here is adding more detail here. So about halfway between the brow and the bottom of the nose and up a little bit and we angle back slightly is the corner of the eye and the same width of the nose is the eye there and then go across the same width of the nose and then across again to about there so maybe that eye that brow comes in a bit there so this eye here is going to be narrower than this one so now let's that do that same technique we'll go over here the top there we do, we're just going to go over some of the little folds here, like that. And then where, where the eyebrow, even the eyelashes, we're going to do, exaggerate those like that. And in the middle of the eye, let's add something there for the pupil. Okay, you can make this little corner of the eye a little bit darker as well. Okay, let's go over to the other side. And then wrap around the eye. Some eyelashes there. Again, that shape. A little bit of a line there. And then the iris again. And then something in the middle there. Now we have both eyes. And we've got the nose. Might make that slightly darker in there. Okay, and maybe on this side. Now we've got to put the mouth in. So about halfway between the bottom of the nose and the chin, we look up about here. We might go up slightly and put the corner of the mouth there. And then we go across and we go, it's a bit to the right of that nose, that nostril. And you can see almost halfway from that eye. Got the two corners of the mouth. And then let's add that space in, the, in between the lips. So not the lips, but just the space between the lips. And it goes arches up like that. And then we've got some dark space there. Okay, just like that. And then at the bottom, the bottom lip, like 
that we're just leaving gaps there for a female sometimes it works better if the top lip is is more outlined okay like that so now we've got those tricky features so the next step is to break up all these shapes around this face now we know that the hairline is about the same distance from the nose to the brow up it's about there so now we can follow around and make those shapes so I'm observing where they are They're about there like that and on the eye here it comes very close to the eye so let's go in like that and straight up there we can add little gaps like that that sometimes helps me when I'm constructing it we have it goes straight down get that nice curve of that cheekbone and then it keeps coming down and across like that but I'm not going to connect it just yet it's better to leave a gap when we're not 100% sure how the rest of the sketch is going to look. Okay, now on this side. Now this side, I sort of want that same cheekbone to come to about there. And so I'm going to add a, it's almost going straight down, but adding a little curve at the bottom of it. So just like that. So it has to match the other side in some ways. But I'm going to skip a little bit and go down to this point, And it's at an angle here. And she's got a really nice curve here. Now we've now we've created that shape face and we've been quite careful there because if we get this wrong, if we rush it, then the whole face can be distorted. Um, but areas areas such as the hair at the back is a bit easier to be quicker. Now I'm going to keep building those shapes around the face. So the bottom of the uh, middle of the mouth there is where this headphone is and silhouette it like that where you can try and use one one line sections and there's this ear going up coming over here so it comes over the top of her head like that and even though the top of the head is there the hair is going to come up slightly higher than that especially have to exaggerate a little bit for this sketch I think We're coming down around there and then out from underneath that headphone strap is the other hair. Now we can't really see in the reference what happens just there specifically but I'm imagining it's quite a lot of hair here. Okay uh, then the collar so that, let's do that shape you can see it goes down like this something happening down there we don't have to draw all of that to make it look a bit looser but make sure you've got this the back coming into about here curving up to about where the ear is some streaks of hair there now if you notice there's a little hint of the headphones just on this side so if I imagine that it's coming across at the same angle as the eye and then at the bottom make sure it's not too big on this side there on the other side and then we can continue the hair it comes like this nice shapes there I think the hair actually a lot of the hair comes on this side too now we can make some subtle adjustments so for example uh, just in this area here we can subtly adjust the the size of that cheek that that jawbone just needed to be a little bit more there okay so now we can do some more hair and I just wave it and then cross over like this okay and then we've got some over here so I go back across the line just a few like there and I might just add a bit more that line there just a bit close to that circle there I think I made it. it has to look like this that volume behind the head there now I've got most of the shapes which is really nice we can go in and do the glasses and it comes to about here and let's draw that down there and then on the top so we'll start in the middle and we'll make our way out if we go to the side here that is the edge of the glasses and then on the other side the other side let's go across like this and mark a point there and then at the bottom mark a point there 
and then on this side and then this corner here so I'll match sort of got some dots there to make sure it's symmetrical so we're just going to draw the outline we're not drawing that double wall and curve our way up there from this dot to the next dot so some some areas have really loose line work and then others like this we can be a bit slower and careful okay and then here you can't really see what's going on there but then on the top so we're going to add a top double line here okay like that but we won't add a double line there I feel like that's too risky okay but then maybe just a line to hint that part there okay I'm really happy with that sketch but we've got to let it dry so we'll leave it a few minutes so that when we add a wash and when I rub out that pencil it won't smudge so have a few goes at this because it's really good practice for positioning all the features on the face if you need some guides I've made a few templates on patreon you can download which breaks down where you put all the features which is helpful to memorize so we're going to start the wash we're going to use burnt sienna so this is actually a Keratake palette but I've replaced all of the colors with my Winsor & Newton favorite color I've actually bought a new Winsor & Newton Cotman set which has got a similar uh, style of palette here so that it won't confuse people and you can buy the actual palette so I'll be testing that soon when it comes uh, but for now we've got this set up so I'm using burnt sienna here and what we're going to do is really water it down so what I, I put it here on the white palette and then I keep adding water until I can see it's very 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 transparent I've got a uh, number six round brush and that's also a Winsor and Newton Cotman series so I'm just using really simple supplies we're going to do the, the face here we start at the top got my sketchbook on a slight slant and let's start with the top here okay now let's just bring it down like that and we're just adding a very light wash and I've really made sure that that is dried in there so don't want any don't want any bleeding of those black lines So why I've gone for the brush instead of the the uh, water brush pen is because I want to be able to control the water on the face a bit better um, because I don't want any more extra water coming out. Okay, I might do the lips too, and I can add some color on top. Now this is rose matter. Got my rag here just at the bottom. Dry that a little bit, just in the the areas just below the cheek there. on this side too. Now I'll wet my brush, take out all the color and we'll blend and dry it a bit and then blend it in the edges. Okay so for the hair now the next bigger shape I've got some yellow ochre and I'm going to just wish that we don't have to keep too um, close to that line. We can come out a bit and then I've got some burnt umber and we're going to continue that in down here so a little bit of burnt umber around here oh there is a white of the uh, other headphone there and then come here there's a lot of dark hair here okay we're keeping it very light okay, on this side A little bit there and here make sure you get this bit so it doesn't look like that skin and then as we go down what could we add to it maybe a touch of ultramarine let's see and it might get even darker the ultramarine yeah let's see that. we've got some light there little gaps might add some of that on this side too and then the eyebrows now that the skin's probably dried a little bit 
not going to bleed as much. And then we have, so now I'm going to use my Payne's Gray. Let's block in these at the top of the glasses. Because they're light, the colors are not mixing, which is great. So they're almost dried. Go across there. And then back the glasses like that. I've also got a bit here too. Just there. Oh, maybe it's actually a bit higher. Now the lips. So that I'm using that. And but I'm not I'm leaving it a bit more saturated. And then if I can, I'll see concentrate it around the middle of the lip there. And then take out the colour and blend it so it's not too strong over the whole thing. So maybe in the middle it'll be stronger at the top and then at the bottom you can see there's a highlight there which we can add with our pen later. So I might make it darker just at this bottom bit but leave a gap. And then the eyes we can go back to this brown but we want to leave a nice white glint just like you can see in my eye there. It has a bit of a shine. Okay, I'm just using burnt sienna to add a bit more saturation around some of these areas here. You can see I'll be adding shadow as well. It just needs, I think, a little bit more. Okay, now I'm really wanting to keep this not too overdone. Because the line work is so loose, now the watercolour is nice and loose as well. My next step is to wait for that to dry and then add a bit of shadow and then the highlights. Now that's dried, so what I like to do is use, uh, for the face, uh, Purple Lake. So this is a very light purpley colour. So add quite a bit of water to that. See how light the wash is? The most important areas for this little bit of shadow would be around the eyes. So I'll just get a bit more water off there and and around here so there's a shadow there and around there so I'll just go around the eyes you can see so not too much and there's a little bit of shadow around where those glasses are so we'll put a bit here and under the nose, put another layer there and it goes a bit further down. You can see almost down to that lip and a bit on this side, just on the edge there of the nose. If it gets too much, just take a bit off. Just dry your brush and do that. And we'll try and get a bit on this side of the nose because the light's coming down this way. We can put a little bit here. We've got here under that bit of the glass, glass of glasses frame, and here. And we can also add a bit on the bottom, sorry, the top lip here, and on the teeth, and underneath that bottom lip. But the bottom lip there is in highlight, but underneath that lip is not. Okay, so now the, the biggest part of shadow is her neck here. So let's go the whole section of her neck, a very light purpley color. Um, and then if we dry it a bit, uh, on the end of the chin as well, we might need to blend that out so it's not a, such a harsh line. So I'll wash my brush, dry it, and then blend that. Can add a little bit, a little bit of shadow on this side. Okay, so we've had just a tiny bit of shadow to the face. Now I'll still use this for the hair a little bit. See there's lots of nice shadow here, but this time I'm trying to make it so I'm not overpowering what color I've already got there. And that'll dry in a bit so you won't see that so strong. But just trying to get that, add a bit more texture to the color without overpowering it. As I make my way down here, what I'm going to use is some purple, and then I'll blend it out just for some stronger shadows. We can also use ultramarine in this a darker shadow here, and then blend it out with that purple. Just in there, and there was quite a dark, so add that ultramarine in there, and down here as well. And then a light ultramarine can come across that back collar. 
had a nice sketchy feel here. Those lines there can be quite sketchy like this. So we'll go back to the purple lake because these these shadows on this head, these headphones are quite light. So it got a bit there, and because the light's hitting here, it might be a little bit at the bottom. And then I want to mimic that on this side. So you can see that is the same object. Go and add a little bit more here. So this is the ultramarine with a tiny bit of purple in it. A little swipe of ultramarine here. So that's the layer of shadow and some dark areas as well. Now let's go into adding some highlight. Now I've got my Posca pen, which has a fine tip here for the highlights. So give it a good shake. And then we're gonna add some little details around. Like these little rivets in the glasses. Make sure there's a highlight on the lip, bottom lip there. And then on the nose, around the glasses here. Get out a little bit of a shine there. That's why I didn't draw that line there before, because now we can do it now. This little spots. Um, I've already got glints in the eye on, on the corner here. That's where some light's hitting. I like to add. I don't have to do two to base spots. Okay, and then a bit on the chin. Okay, and then around some other little places like perhaps here where there, there's some logo on the side there. JBL logo there, but I'll just make some little lines there and then I can add some other lines like this and here. So in the hair there might be some glints of light coming around like that and then definitely some around this side. So we can come in from the outside, There's some in there. Oh, and then on this earring here. So I was super happy with the way that that technique worked out. Put in the pencil circle first. Let me know if you've tried this tutorial and how it went if you like that process. I'll be putting the high res reference that I've edited and this template right here to help you set you up for this tutorial so you can use that as a guide when you're first starting out. I'm also going to attempt another reference here for my Patreon members on the Sketching School tier so they'll be able to get some more practice in with this technique. Different angles. Uh, one of my Patreons asked for an angle that's looking down but I've got plenty more portrait tutorials that you can check out here on YouTube right down here in this playlist. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.